Sheila Duprose of Calgary has advanced multiple myeloma. It's a rare progressive and fatal blood cancer. Sheila, a wife, mother and grandmother, was diagnosed in 2007. My first reaction when I was diagnosed with multiple myeloma was most definitely shock, uh, unbelief, is it can't happen to me type of attitude. Why me and why this type of cancer? According to most recent Canadian Cancer Society statistics, of the approximately 6,000 Canadians with the disease, about 1,350 will die this year and 2,100 new patients will be diagnosed across Canada. Although the disease is regarded as incurable, recent advances make it very treatable and the prognosis continues to improve. Dr. Christine Chen is a hematologist at Princess Margaret Hospital in Toronto, Ontario. She describes how a new advance in treatment, an oral therapy called Revlimid, increases overall survival and slows disease progression in many patients, but it's not accessible to everyone who needs it. It's very important to have new treatments in myeloma, particularly because it is not curable at this point. And um, most patients in the course of their illness will require many different treatments. There were two large uh, randomized trials that were published in 2007 using Revlimid in combination with dexamethasone, a steroid, uh, compared to just dexamethasone alone, which is considered standard treatment for relapsed myeloma. And um, both those studies showed not only did the Revlimid group um, have a higher response rate, um, but the, it kept the disease away longer, so progression-free survival was longer. And uh, also an update to that study showed that patients receiving Revlimid also lived longer. John Lemieux is president of Myeloma Canada, a national nonprofit group supporting people living with this disease. The Time to Live campaign is critical. In October 2008, Health Canada approved a new multiple myeloma medication drug that is going to extend patients lives. To date, not a single province has approved access on a universal basis. When you have a fatal cancer, life expectancy is measured in months and sometimes in days. Sheila Duprose hopes that one day other people living with multiple myeloma will have access to treatments such as Revlimid, but due to the nature of the disease, timing is critical. If I didn't have access to Revlimid, I would be really upset to know that it's there and that for whatever reason, presumably financially, I could not access that drug and I know that that is quite likely to happen to other people. I have a good outlook in life and I'm very confident that Revlimid will work for me and at least extend the number of years that I have. For more information about multiple myeloma, visit myelomacanada.ca. Martin Vanderwood reporting.